sightings in the box provided on the platform. Seat belts go over your shoulder. This is like, railway. this is our fifth of Bunny Marumba. No, more than that, a lot more than that. Oldest wooden coaster in England. Next ride, jumping star did you say? Let's see how many butterflies that, that will give us. Very nice stunning views. Got off the jumping star ride, which yeah. is actually meant for children. What did you think of it? Surprisingly, it was really good. I was almost about to say it's better than <laughs> the other drop tower, which obviously will be like a joke. But the, she even said, you know, you are adults can go, but if the restraint system doesn't go all the way down, then she might ask me to get off the ride or something like that. It's a it's a kids ride, a family ride. Yeah. And yeah, it gives you enough butterflies. Really impressed. And what would you that, give it? I'll give six six out of ten. Yeah, I agree. Six out of ten. It's yeah. actually really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was fun. This is a Stranger Things ice cream van, which apparently, according to our source, they're giving away free ice creams today, all day, in this van. All the right information are is recording. Yeah? All the right information based on a, like a black kind of background gives you an archive you know retro kind of style and it's all information do's and don'ts which is uh, interesting to note rather quite different from other parts this, this is the dungeon now this ride over here helter skelters i think it seems like it's closed can't see any sign or any member of staff around it this park is actually one of the easiest way to navigate from rise to ride it just goes like almost like in a circle very uh, it's not very big park but it has almost enough rides for almost everyone toilets just like traveling portable, portable loose Woo. anyway let's talk about waltzers really long 
moderately intense yeah and there's no one there to kind of manually push you around um, probably like six out of ten what do you think six out of ten yeah six out of ten not bad not bad we were thinking of going back to the scenic railway to try the back row but just take a look at the queue Woo! queues very long probably looking at what an hour 45 minutes scenic railway that's a long queue. So yeah, this we're going on the scenic railway. Should I come closer with the mic? I don't know. I can't okay, tell like this. We're going on the scenic railway for the second time. We'll try to aim to get somewhere at the back or the middle, just to get a different experience. Obviously, you can't compare this park with any other major theme parks. But if you look at the history and what they have done, we have to give them a round of applause. So overall, it's an okayish park. Again, it needs a little bit more work. Probably needs more roller coasters, I would say. What do you have to say? Yeah, I agree. Um, there's only three roller coasters here at the moment. One being the Scenic Railway. The second one being the uh, Pinball X, which is like a mouse roller coaster. And the third one, a children's coaster. Yeah.
The back row, that was way more intense than the front. You could literally feel it. We, were, we went right at the back. We were on second to last right. Second to last right. Definitely more intense. Uh, obviously, if you're filming, you will pro probably won't get any good shot using a chest mount. That is the reason we started off um, at the front row. But the back row, I give eight out of ten. What about yourself? Yeah, same. So here we have the Dreamland timeline. 1919. John Henry Isles buys the Hall by the Sea for forty thousand pounds, taking inspiration from Coney Island. He begins to develop the site. 1893, 8,000 square foot roller skating rink opens as the main feature by the hall, of the Hall by the Sea. In 1898, the Italian Zoological Gardens opens, including animals such as lions and elephants. 1874, Lord George Sanger and Thomas Dalby Reeve, Mayor of Margate, open the Hall by the Sea. 1911, George Sanger dies. 1914 to 1918, World War One, Dreamland remains open but at a reduced level. 1920, Dreamland opens, complete with its signature. Scenic Railway. 1935, the Cinema and Ballroom buildings were officially opened. 1939 to 1945, World War II, park closed but Cinema and Ballroom remained open. 1940, Dreamland requisitioned for Dunkirk evacuation. 1974, Bill Haley and the Comets performed at top spot at the start of 20th century British tour. 1950, The Magic Garden. 1949, Scenic Railway caught fire. At least half the structure was lost. It was rebuilt with timbers from Lois Croft Pier. 1963, The Rolling Stones played at Dreamland. 1969, Safari Park. 1995, Guinness Book... Oh, the Scenic Railway went into the Guinness Book of, Work of Records as the oldest roller coaster in the country. 1989, Only Fools and Horses, the Jolly Boys outing to Margate is screened on BBC. Bon Bon Brothers, 1981, Dreamland's Golden Jubilee, Big Wheel Dismantled. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit tired of reading everything for you guys, so you can just have a look for yourself. He's spinning this thing. What do you need? Like ice skating or what? It's roller skating. Take a look at this seating where you can sit down and eat. It's in a water style. Pretty impressive. So this is the Dreamland shop. just 11 past 4 the park closes at 6 o'clock 1800 like I mentioned and I think we had enough call it a day uh, it's an okay decent park I wouldn't say it's the best park um, certainly they have improved a lot over the past few years and I hope Dreamland will improve will bring in more thrilling rides at the moment they have introduced a lot of different rides over the past few years probably eight rides they've got a drop tower a few coasters uh, but majority seems like it's more of a flat ride, fun first style. I'll give this a maybe 6 out of 10. Uh, again, you know, come with your family, come down, support this park. Yeah, thank you for watching Hayati channel and be sure to subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed what we do and you want to appreciate the work that we did. And when you come out from Dreamland, you discover another piece of heaven, British Seaside. Reminds you of Brighton Pier.